Michael, you recently stated in Wandering Weights that a classic method of progression was to work up to an ugly single using a particular weight, then watch, well, uh, yeah, you make, you make the lift with the single, yeah. Then watch the reps and the mass slowly build up. Um, boy, I hope I didn't say it like that, but the idea is the traditional programs, um, I've got a whole bunch of the books here in, in the library. Uh, if I was doing something like uh, even a curl, even a curl, even a basic curl, is I would get up to a weight 135 pounds because my bar, I only have 135 pounds and I get it for a single. And then two, three weeks later, I get it for two. Two or three months later, I get it for five. A year from now, I get it for 12. Um, that is progressive resistance exercise. And you can get very strong doing that. And of course, back in the day, people only had one non-adjustable weight. Um, I've, I've still had a conversation in Island Pond, Vermont with a guy who got a big truck axle. Um, his dad, his dad found it and he trained on a truck axle that probably weighed 75 pounds for his training all through high school. It was a large rusty piece of iron. He cleaned it. He pressed it. He curled it. He did what he thought was a squat. He did what he thought was a deadlift. I'm just quoting. And uh, he loved it, and he got, and of course, when when he went went to school, they had a York barbell, and he started, you know, to progress from there. So, since you, okay, since you teach that squats don't progress well with easy strength, I have a lot of chapters on it on the book Easy Strength Omni Book. It's at danjohnuniversity.com/bookstore. Uh, I really don't want to go down that rabbit hole again of discussing why squats don't work. Some people have made them work, but, you know, read the, <laughs> I quoted Dean Martin today. Uh, Dean Martin was a great singer and he would sing just a few lines from a song and at a concert, someone would say, finish the song. And he'd say, buy the album, you know? So, hey, buy the album, you know? I was considering applying this concept with front squats, either kettlebell or barbell to an easy strength program. Do you think that the Russian fighter program progression would work for this purpose? And just how sore do you think this would likely get someone? Uh, also, let's, say, let's also would a slow circuit with the same volume of chins or dips or both make sense? So he wants to do front squats, chins, dips, then front squat, chins, dips, front squat, chins, dips. Would that work? Yeah, I think it would. In fact, I think I answered something like that about a week ago. This seems like a decent way to ease into hypertrophy rep ranges, not to mention getting friendly with my mortal enemy squats. Okay, so the fighter program is this. Let's just say it works best with if you can do five reps. Uh, either five reps with just your body weight, uh, which sadly is the, the number I use. Folks, I was not put on this earth to do pull-ups. I'll tell you that from the heart. But for some of you, maybe you put a... You put on a vest, you put, you know, you dangle weights, uh, you, you hook a kettlebell on your foot, you, uh, you know, any, any way you can add load. So your max is five. And on day one, you do, uh, real, we'll, we'll just make it as simple as I can. Your max is five. On day one, you do a single, a single, a single, a single, a single. Day two, you come back and you go double, single, 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 single. Day three, double double, single, single, single. And when you get to all five doubles, you then go triple, double, 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 double. There's other ways to do it. Just I'm just trying to get through this fast. When you get through all the triples, you can go four, 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 four. Uh, when we get to the fives, you go five, 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 five. You would take three to five days off and just test your max. Um, you can You can do this program three to five times a week. Is this a good program? Yeah, it is a it is a style uh, that's been around a long time. Um, we would probably, when I was young, we did this for higher numbers, but it is the concept where you just come in and you just grease that reps. You just get those reps in, boom, 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 boom. Uh, and at the end, you you smile and you whatever. Here's So here's what your first workout's gonna look like, man. So you're gonna do front squat, uh, a, one, uh, a chin for one, a dip for one, 
and then you're gonna repeat that five times. That's not very much. And you might, when you finish the workout, kind of look in the mirror and say, who am I? That was way too easy. Don't judge any workout by day one. You are, And I tell this to people all the time. If I give you three sets of eight and you get done with set number two, two sets of eight, and you say, well, that was easy. Uh, when I do three sets of eight, we insist on an exact one minute rest. I go, don't judge it yet. Get that third set. Of course, in the third set, you know, they're sweating and they're dying. Don't judge this until you go through the whole cycle. Uh, and remember one thing that's important. When you do that five, 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 the five, five day, you just take off three to five days. You can even take off up to a week and then test yourself coming back. And that's the most important thing I think on this is that test when you come back. Um, I don't know uh, of anybody who's researched this. I don't know of any studies defending it, but I do know this. It's a good idea. And if you have the courage to get through it, I think, Michael, you're going to find this to be a pretty good program. Uh, good luck. And thank you. Would you please get back to me on that? Thank you.